Hello, good afternoon. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I will be sharing on three tips to boost your child's confidence. I am Johan here. It's right now 3 p.m. Malaysian time. A very hot afternoon. Now we are going to do a series of live FB videos depend on, depending on the demand and also on the frequency. You let me know how often do I need to come in. I like to have these FB live conversations to actually connect with our fans in our kids public speaking fan page. Now if you are joining in, put into the comment section where are you from? So at least I know where are you tuning in from. Hello, Cherry join. Hi. If you are tuning in, let us know where are you tuning in from. Hello, we have someone from JB. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for logging in. How how is Joho? Things are good there. Just a quick introduction. We started this kids public speaking program since year 2014, almost three years plus. And we have trained more than 1,000 kids to speak on stage, not only in the classroom, also outdoor activities like shopping malls and also theme park. So this is going to be a Q&A session. Ask me questions. What do you have in mind? And I will actually use your question to actually dictate, dictate this conversation. So we are doing FB Live right now from a laptop. Right, we have three viewers over here. Put in where where are you from? In the comment section. Feel free to also actually put in your questions and I will be really grateful for that and let's have a conversation. Okay, I'll be sharing with you all three tips to boost your child's confidence. If you have a kid, also put into the comment section, how old is your child? Matu, may I know how to join? Your question is, may I know how to join? Because I need my kids, the academic, all right? May I know how to join? All right, your kids are actually six and seven years old. Okay, right now we are actually operating very, very actively in Kuala Lumpur, Klang Valley, at JB. We are not active yet we are also actually looking for partners to run the program in joho baru all right we may have one or two workshops coming up in december in jb just to test out the market but the longer 10 week program that we have we still do not have in jb but the one and a half day workshop we are going to update you matu if you don't mind can you actually Put in your email so that I could actually ask the person to contact you. Cherry will be contacting you. Cherry is my co-founder. Hello, Muhammad Ram Ramzan from Pakistan. Hi. Hi, Peggy. Welcome. Welcome to the live stream. So, Matu, in JB, we'll update you 
our if we, if we ever have workshop in Johor Bahru, we also are looking for partners. If you have any friends or partners who are actually exploring to run this business in Johor Bahru, do let us know and we'll see how we can actually work things out. Hi, those who are actually those who just joined, could you actually put into the comment section where are you from so that actually we know where are you logging in from? This live stream will be actually to let us build a, just to know more on what is in your mind, put down your question and I'll be actually going through your questions. Thank you, Matu. Thank you. Three tips to boost your child's confidence. I'll be sharing this. All right, the first tip, right, I'll just go to the first tip to actually share with you on how to boost your child's confidence. Tip number one will be actually using positive words. Using positive words. I have actually parents who come into our session all right the first day and they're actually bringing their child together next to them you know and when they actually meet me personally and they they will actually say johan could you actually help us to help help my very shy kid could you have help, help my very shy kid so that words actually embed and implant into a child's mind that they are very shy so normally I will just be quiet for a moment and when the child is actually seated in her or his table, I will actually tell the parents to actually give them more positive words. So positive words are very important. Like when my students before they go up on stage that moment, before they go up on stage at the shopping mall, I will say you are the best, you can do it. So these are actually positive words that you should actually talk to your kid more often. So give them encouragement, words of encouragement, which are really important. Don't choose those words which are shy and they are very afraid. They could not talk to people. So if you are using these words right in front of your kids and you are speaking about them with these words, really it, it will make things even more difficult. So use positive words. So parents, what are some positive words you can use for your children? You can even put your comment. I will always say, well done, you are great. These are some, some positive words you can use. Oh yeah, if you are tuning in, you can see those like button. Help me to click those like button and those heart shape. You can actually click on those heart shape and also like button. Share with us also where are you from at the comment section. Muhammad Ramzan, teacher, you from China? No, no, Ramzan, I'm actually from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I'm, I'm from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, yeah. And we are running a kids public speaking program. So tip number one, use positive words. Tip number two. Tip number two is let them try let them try it's always a platform and opportunity for them do not be afraid to even fail the first few times or even when they go up on stage to speak even one line two lines is okay we want them to go on stage as often as possible one time two times three times four times five times this is called the the frequency method is just like practice. We need to have more and more practice. 
that will actually boost their confidence. Maybe the first time is only to a few friends or even in front of yourself. That means the kids speak in front of their parents, two person, then maybe one day at a dinner party, three, four packs, and then continue two more, four, five, six, more and more and more. And slowly, they will actually gain momentum. And one day, if they go on to a stage where there's 50, 80 packs in school or even at a shopping mall or at an event, and when they can manage to do that one or two minute speech, it actually gives them lots of confidence. So let them try. Give them those opportunities. If, if they have their storytelling, program or competition in school, let them join. does not matter whether it's a one-minute speech, whether they win or it's actually win or learn, right? There's never losing. So let them try. Second tip will be let them try. All right, Peggy Tan, positive words. Kids, you are amazing. Awesome, Matu said. Awesome. So what are the positive words you would like to use? You can actually put on the comment. So positive words is the first, first tip. The second is actually let them try. It's more on practice. Even the best sportsmen in the world, in their own category, whether is it badminton, Lee Chong Wei, or Dato Nicole David, squash, I believe even they reach until that level, they still practice and practice and go for competition and sparring and try their shots and things like that. So even for a speaker or to boost a child's confidence, the frequency has to be there to get them the momentum. So you have if you just join our live, I just share two tips to boost your child's confidence. Hello, Annie. Hello, Stacy. Click the like, like button and also the heart shape and put down in the comment section where are you tuning in from so that we get to know each other. And we are doing a series of FB live from today onwards to actually know our fans more and we really need to know what you are looking at, what are the questions in your mind and we'll be, be actually having programs to cater to your needs very soon. All right, the third tip for today, the third tip for today is uh, one that I want to challenge you, challenge you meaning the third tip is show by example. Show by example. So you yourself have to do public speaking. So you see your child actually look at you as a role model. If you can do that, it actually see, wow, my daddy is actually a speaker too. My mommy is also a speaker. So if you can, Show by example. Is that scary? So show by example. Right. If you can't do that together with your child, I will just throw in another mini tip. Together with your child, read out story aloud. Right. Storybook, bedtime stories and things like that. You read one minute, he or she reads one minute. You read one minute, he or she reads one minute. So it has to be allowed, not silently. Once upon a time, there was little red riding hood. So you have to read out aloud. So when you read out aloud, you throw your voice and you can actually hear those words. So read out aloud and do this together with your kid. Even the great speakers in the world does this even until today. So they read out aloud to throw their voice up and listen their own voice. Right? So this is a very cool activity 
whatever will do, even a storybook or newspaper or magazine, each one read one minute. You read one minute, your kid run one minute. You one minute, your kid one minute. If you can do it every day, even better. Right? So, yeah, the three tips. Susan Ng, just join. Hello. Hi, Stacy. Right, so, those are three tips. Tip number one is actually using positive words. Tip number two, let them try. And tip number three, show by example. One of the ways is actually read out aloud together with your child. Right. We are into 15 minutes over here. Thank you so much, everyone, for logging in. So I will actually take questions from you all. Any question you can actually put into the comment section. Any question you like to ask, whether it's deep public speaking or entrepreneurship and things like that, you can actually ask me. And yes, this Sunday, this Sunday, we are going to the Starling Mall at Damansara Uptown for a huge event. We are going to bring about 140 over kids for the Brand Ambassador Program. Together with their siblings and parents, they're going to be 500 over people jamming the mall at level two for the Brand Ambassador Program. This is a outdoor real life experience for kids aged seven to 12 years old. Teenagers, there are about five or six of them, but most of them are seven to 12 years old. Right. Any question? Any question? If you are logging in also, you can actually put down your child's age so that we know their, their age. Hi Yati, hello, six years old, can join the class? Yes, of course. All right, our program so far for seven to 12 years old, all the while. But sometimes we actually take in six plus. Example now is in October, all right? Your kid already six plus. If they already passed their birthday, so they are six plus, we still accept them to our workshop which is one and a half day or 10 weeks where they come in two hours, two hours, two hours, two hours, two hours for 10 weeks. So six plus to 12 years old, we do accept. Now I'm going to just give you a teaser. We are going to launch something very soon where we even accept five year old and six year old very soon in January 2018. So good news, Yati. Can you actually Leave in the comment box your email address. I will have Cherry, my partner, to actually contact you. If you are joining very soon, Yati, I, I think your daughter is already seven, yeah? So sure, we have a program. Let us know in the comment your location and also your email address. All right, thank you so much, Yati. Thank you. Today, we covered three tips to boost your child's confidence. You can also write in the comment box. In our next live video, we'll be doing this either next week or maybe over this weekend or the next few days. Let us know what are the topics you would like me to cover. So at least I know upfront and we are prepared and I'll come in with those topics. So today's topic is three tips to boost your child's Confidence, what other topic are you interested to know more? Put into the comment box. Edward Young, just join. Hi, it's Vari Kanan. You are most welcome. Where are you from? Put into your comment box. Where are you from?
Or any more last one or two question? Oh, as worry. Oh, you are from Ipo. All right. Okay, you are from Ipo. We just did our brand ambassador program at Lost World of Tambun Ipo. Lost World of Tambun Ipo. And the next two weeks, the Ipo students will be going to Aeon Station 18 to speak at a shopping mall. So if you are interested as worry, you can leave your email at the comment box. I'll have my partner Tracy in uh, Ipo Garden East to contact you. Hi, Ati Lechumi, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the compliment. Also, you sent your, your son to Kian at Mon Kiara. Thank you so much. This weekend will be their first challenge speaking at Starling Mall Dreamer Playland. I will see you and I will personally say hello to you. Ati Lechumi, thank you so much for your support. Edward Young. Hi, where can I send my son to your class? Edward, where is your location? Leave down your location and also your email. We will be contacting you. So, Ati, make sure your son wears socks on that day, yeah, for you to go in and also a nicer clothes because he's the brand ambassador representing Dreamer Playland. Hi, BK. BK just joined. So put into the comment box if you're going to have the next live session, what would you like to know more? And we'll be having more of this uh, FB live series to connect with our audience and our fans. Peggy Tan just wrote, Teacher Johan, I will send my six years old son to join the one and a half days program this December. Thank you so much for your support. You have always been a wonderful fans of ours who keep liking our videos and posters and things like that. Thank you so much for your support. Looking forward to work together with your son. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And just a teaser, next year, January 2018, we are going to launch a few very interesting program. In my next live stream, I will actually roughly let you all know what is it about. We are still fine-tuning some minor, minor more details and we are ready to launch this program in January. So stay tuned, this program will be very, very exciting. And as usual, we always believe in giving kids a real life experience, not only in the classroom, but also outdoor. There's a balance of both. Once they are ready, they can actually go outdoor. So these are a few programs we are going to launch very soon. Should, should be launching 10 of October, 10-10. Because our team for our new programs are also 10 10, right? 10 10. 10 10. Okay, I think that's all for today. Thank you so much, everyone, for logging in. Hopefully, you will actually practice the three tips to boost your child's confidence. Number one, use positive words in front of them, words of encouragement to encourage them. My wrap up, number two is let them try. School, if there's outside private program who actually has that, sometimes you can see corporate companies organize those storytelling competition or even bookstores, let them join. Let them join, clock those stage time. And number three, show by example, if they see you doing public speaking, they'll be very happy and they won't actually want to follow in your footsteps. Oh, mommy, daddy could do it. So it is possible. So those are the three tips. Thank you so much, everyone, for logging in today. 
I will see you very soon. You can still leave the comment after this post in the comment section on what you want to know more. Thank you so much. I am Johan from Johan Speaking Academy, logging off right now. See you and have a great afternoon. Thank you so much.